Welcome back everybody to Let's Play in Deus Ex and we are within the mansion of Morgan Everett, the leader of the Illuminati and there's a lot of exploration and talking and solving mysteries to do so let's go. You won't be hearing from Tong for a while, he had to leave Hong Kong. Really? Why? The triads? He said he had some business to take care of. I don't know, he didn't look so good. Mm. Sick. Either that or something was bothering him. The last thing he said to me it was something about all the machines in his lab being useless. And then he cut off the connection. Hmm. Useless for what? It was just an outburst. I don't know, but he wants me to wait here for instructions. JC, Tong is serious about Everett. He wants you to be careful. Hmm, I don't really know what to think about Tracer Tong. He seems alright, but... So he just cut off uh, the energy for all his uh, important machines in his lab for no reason? Why? And he's sick, eh? Could he have caught a gray death? That would be a problem. While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Daedalus for the attack. I hope he knows what he's doing. What attack? What are you talking about? And Daedalus? How can he help Daedalus? Does he have control over that AI? Please give me some background information, sir. The Echelon kernel was designed almost exclusively for collecting data, so we have to add functionality for memory wipes, threat termination, that kind of thing. Okay... It's not often you get to construct a software worm that might do some good for the world. <laughs> really? Everett and Tong will need some control of the network if they're ever going to come out of hiding. What network exactly? Good luck at Vandenberg. What? Vandenberg? What? What's going on here? You are all filling my head with so much information that I don't even know how to... What am I supposed to do anyway? Or, uh, I'm feeling confused now, so I'm just going to hack this thing here to feel better. Uh, just one mail from Toby Atamne, suspension code. I've placed the nano-organic material that we received today in suspension until you have an opportunity to perform an analysis. The codes are uh, 2384 and 6426. I'm guessing that's for the bio-augmentation, nano-augmentation, whatever thing is. Alright, whatever, I guess I should really talk to Morgan Everett. So this is where the Illuminati ended up after centuries of conspiring to rule the world. The conspiracy is about to begin again, JC, between you and me. Nicolette was wise to bring us together. Wise like her mother. The most effective partnerships, like Beth's and mine, arise from mutual necessity. I came to talk about the Grey Death. Atanwe says you cracked the virus. A trivial matter. Paige added nothing to the core design. However, what we need to construct is a carbonocarbon ROM module, not exactly a vaccine. Can it be done without a universal constructor? No, we need time on a UC. But I know where we might find one, and also gain access to the U.S. military networks. Mm. U.S. military? To stop Icarus from completely destroying the Daedalus AI. Daedalus is a design of mine. Oh. It replaced the old Echelon 3 network. Mm. Echelon? The surveillance system for the United Nations. Ah. So Daedalus was an MJ-12 tool and rebelled? More of a pattern matching error. It classified Majestic 12 as a terrorist group, <laughs> alongside the NSF and Silhouette. And alongside the Illuminati, right? Are you sure Daedalus is your ally? What matters to us is that it opposes Majestic 12. We must help it destroy their intelligence apparatus. But that will require the military networks. I have already contacted Gary Savage of X-51. The former Area 51 scientists. Are they still camped out at the Vandenberg Air Force Base? Oh. They are close to completing a UC and have the kind of connection Daedalus will need. Sounds like my pilot and I should head to Vandenberg. Yes, I took the liberty of radioing him. Here is the key to the helipad stairway. The door is in the foyer where Atanwe revived you. Good luck. I will be in contact. Anything else, mister? I want more information, please. Don't forget to say hi to your friend from UNATCO, Mr. Uh, Jacobson. Already bumped into him. Very thoughtful of Tom. My own computer technician. I suppose he can help me prepare a calm link for Daedalus. You saw a piece of Echelon 3 in Beth's chateau. We salvaged some of the hardware. Surveillance used to be daemon based Daedalus is more distributed. A blip of his code runs on every communication device on the planet. Oh, wow. If we control communications, we can organize and the other side cannot. Mm, that would certainly help a little bit. Lack of organization is exactly what has plagued X-51. 
They're great scientists, but isolated. They left Area 51 to protest Majestic 12's experiments. And that's what it amounted to. A protest. Hmm. So much faking information. All at once. They don't even coordinate with the NSF, which is headquartered a few hundred miles to the north. You see the need for global organization. Someone has to bring these disparate groups together. Well... X-51 has assembled excellent technology. They just need someone to help them use it. You will be my representative at Vandenberg. Well, fine, if you trust me that much. I will trust you to find a way to manufacture the cure. Well, thanks for the confidence. Alright, alright, so this is still too much. Let me... Let me just think for a second about what's going on here. So... Um... Oh, God. Okay, so let's see. Daedalus, who helped me all along, was a... Uh, uh, advanced uh, AI type of uh, the security program called Echelon that runs throughout the entire world, especially for the military. And Daedalus was developed by him when he still belonged to the original Illuminati, when MJ-12 still belonged to the main group. But eventually MJ-12 uh, was created and Daedalus thought that it's not good a good thing. It categorized MJ-12 as being bad and hunted them down as terrorists, so it went rogue. So, now we want to control Daedalus, so we can stop uh, Majestic 12 to gain access to their networks and everything. Majestic 12, on the other hand, uh, created a counter device, Icarus. And Icarus is supposed to slowly destroy Daedalus, so now we need to head to Vandenberg. Apparently there are some uh, former uh, Area 51 scientists there that are trying to develop a universal constructor that could help us uh, make a cure for the Grey Death. And also, from there, with that thing, we could gain a good connection to um, help Daedalus defeat Icarus. So, we have a basic goal, I guess. We can't allow Bob Page to gain control over the networks of the world and everything, because then he will have all the communication and we will have nothing. Alright, we have a basic goal, once again. Now, the only thing I'd like to know is, how do I get all the loot in this place? What's this supposed to be? Hmm, nothing. Huh. Alright, I forgot the code for this thing already. Seriously, there are so much information in this place, I can't remember all of them. My brain. Hmm, this could help. Yeah, sorry, Everett, I'm just gonna hack your security systems real quick. Uh, some sort of, uh... <laughs> Alright, this works. Just unlock him like this. And what is this? There's another room here. With something blue in the middle. What's this supposed to be? Hmm, and where is that anyway? Alright, I have no idea where this is supposed to be. Anyway, we don't need these, but we can certainly use this. Augmentation upgrade canister, get. Now where does this go? Oh god. I always need to put my nose into everything. Hmm, this leads to the aquarium. I wonder if this is such a hard idea. Now, first of all, that upgrade canister. Let's install that to to my healing thingy. Why not? Next. Oh my, this is probably a big mistake, but I'm gonna make an experiment, see if there's anything of use in here. Sure, we have a basic goal and could just leave, but I'm feeling that there is more mystery to this place, and I don't really want to go yet. And oh my, I just noticed why this place is such a bad idea, because there's nothing to breathe. Thankfully, somebody left a rebreather here. Oh! Well, that was a waste. I can't breathe here. Is there any point to this, to this aquarium? There are darts. Don't tell me that was the only reason I came here. I can't even pick them up, you know. If there is something else here, I'm not seeing it. Now, the two things that still interest me in this place are uh, that Lucius guy that I couldn't find yet and uh, that blue room. You know, the room with the blue thing I saw on that camera? 
Okay. Let's explore this place a little bit more. Alex, do you know anything? Some of the best scientists in the world have joined up with Savage. So Gary Savage, I believe that was his name, is the head scientist maybe? Of the, you know, Area 51 dudes. Three moldy tools to open this door. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a key somewhere. Alright, so I got a key to a helipad. That's useful, I guess. But where the hell is this Lucius guy supposed to be? Uh, Lucius the Beer or something? I am not satisfied unless I find him. Let me check out... I hear a helicopter somewhere, so Jog is probably already waiting for me. First of all, though, more exploration. So let me guess, I got a key to uh, the big door I saw earlier. There's a door here, there's a door there. Which door am I supposed to take? This won't open, so I guess... Hey, dude, I'm sure we won't talk to each other again, so... It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something ever it could not figure out. It would be a problem, that's for sure. Mr. French accent. Now, does this just go to the helipad and that's it? Yeah, there's the helicopter. I don't want to be here yet, I don't want to leave. There's more to this place than meets the eye, I'm sure. Where are the hidden things? Seriously, I'm gonna stay here and check everything out again until I find something of value. Where's this Lucius de Beer? And I'm gonna tell you why I'm so uh, persistent with this act. Because this is the... Uh, oh. What do we have here? Because, folks, this is the only chance to explore this building. We will never get back to Morgan Everett's apartment mansion thingy again. Alright, so I found something hidden behind the mirror. Alright, I am sure Morgan Everett won't mind if I stumble into some of his secrets. I'm not really sure what to think of Chris Tong, but like I said a million times already, I don't really trust um, Everett yet. <laughs> Very interesting. You can look outside, but nobody can look inside. Now, where am I? What is he hiding here? Hmm, I can see a camera of something. And a camera of something else. I can see a camera of the helipad. What the hell is that? There's a dude standing there. Uh, he is standing, right? Damn it, my time is running out. Is that guy dead? I can see a dead guy on a on the helipad. What the hell is going on here? Now what's this? Just a room with nothing in it? Credits. What the hell? There's a dude in a pot. What the Is this Lucius the beer? Is this the life support system? Beth, feel free to visit with Morpheus. Who's Morpheus? While I am away, the code is 8001. I'm sure you will have many interesting things to discuss and pay to attention and pay no attention to Lucius. He complains at the slightest provocation, Everett. So Everett doesn't seem to treat Lucius here like a civilized individual. Hmm. <clears throat> I shouldn't really bother with that. Can I talk to him? What are you doing back here? Oh my god. Denton, right? Yeah. You're al alive in that thing? I am conscious. Tell Everett I am cold. He keeps me so cold. Who are you? Do you mind if I ask? The Supreme Enlightened. The leader of the Illuminati. What? I thought Everett was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. Our decline is the result of my own 
All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What, what did Everett tell you? Nothing. I merely await certain technologies. Then I will be restored. Everett has sworn it. Really? Huh, this is weird. I'm gonna have to talk to Everett about this. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I was confused by this mirror. So, what the hell? Is that guy a, f uh, a former leader of the Illuminati and Everett keeps him here in stasis? What the hell is that about? What use could he have and why is he not helping him? Or is he helping him? I'm confused now and I'm gonna ask him about it. That's probably not a good idea. It's like asking a villain about, hey, you are that villain who's trying to destroy the world, right? And he would be like, oh, you discovered my secret. Bam, bam, I'm gonna kill you now. So I hope this is not a mistake to ask Everett about it, if I can even ask him about it. Lucius De Beer says he's cold. Uh, I know. 18 degrees Celsius, to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He is a good advisor. A one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. Uh. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades, but he does not need to know that. You bastard! Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. Okay, so apparently he keeps the former leader of the Illuminati... It could be the former leader of the Illuminati. Everett says uh, he's just fantasizing, but... If my, what I'm thinking is correct, and he is keeping the former leader of the Illuminati alive for information, but he doesn't plan to restore him to power. So he's basically keeping him here like a helpless prisoner. Okay, now I am very worried. I hope I didn't stumble upon a terrible, terrible mystery here. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices. When I am revived, I will remember. Am oh I? I can't say Everett has no intention of reviving you, or Everett will be here as soon as he can. So I'm basically uh, I'm given the choice to let this man suffer for all eternity, being in this cold pot. Or I could tell him the truth, even though I don't really know if that could lead to something good. <sighs> he can be healed. But if I just tell him he can be healed, then Everett will never do it. Uh, I can't be... I can't lie about this, I'm sorry. Everett has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He keeps you on ice so that he can benefit from your experience. But he intends to rule the Order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. Oh boy. Well, what can I do? If I only had command of my body. Jesus. I feel sorry for this dude, seriously. There's nothing I can imagine is worse than being trapped in a prison like this for all eternity, in a dark room, not being able to do a thing. Oh my, what do I do now? I guess I can keep talking to him, but what would be the point? This is sad. I don't really think there's any point in talking to Everett again. Now even Everett betrays the Illuminati. <sighs> Can no one be trusted? Huh. I wonder... Could I release him from his torment? Hmm. Everett certainly won't like it. I'm pretty sure even without this camera he will know what I have done if I do something. Uh, at least I found out something rather interesting that Everett doesn't know about. He cannot be trusted. I will keep that in mind. Everett wants to be the new leader of the Illuminati, even though we could perfectly restore this guy. Young yeah, Denton, use the computer to my left. Find a way to shut me down. What? Oh my, so you want me to kill you? Oh boy. All I wanted was to touch the world one more time. 
Take one more breath of air. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, I don't know anything at all about you, mister. But I can only imagine what it must be like to be stuck in this thing forever. I will not be a prisoner. I command you. Kill me. Oh, my. Well, I don't think this is going to help my relationship with Everett, but I'm certainly doing the right thing here. Oh boy. Shut off by our support system. I'm killing somebody totally innocent. Oh god. Alright, everyone with me. Three, two, one. <sighs> He's dead. Lucius De Beer is dead. The former leader of the Illuminati. Oh boy, what have I just done? I killed him. But it was for a good cause, right? It was just cause. Everett has no right to keep him here like this. Oh boy. When we come back, folks, um, I have to think about what I just did. I feel like I made the right decision. I couldn't just uh, pretend to uh, know that Everett will be here for him, because he won't. Yeah, like I said, when we'll be back, we are going to continue on our mission to save the world, and things are getting more and more twisted. So apparently Everett isn't really a good guy after all. He has no intention of doing evil, but what he's doing can't be considered good either. Until then, folks. Until then.